Hello and welcome to my Devil May Cry. No, 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 not Devil May Cry. I will call this game DMC. This whole playthrough commentary whatever thingy. Yes, DMC. This is Dante Must Die difficulty. Some sort of commentary playthrough. I'm gonna try to give some tips, tricks. And as you can see, this game is not too hard to get an SSS rank. And yeah, well, let's see how I do. I just finished the game one hour ago on Dante Must Die. And now I started doing some editing stuff, and blah blah blah, you know, good stuff. It's so much fun to do. And yeah, oh well, get hit there. What the fuck? Yeah, it's not the best gameplay. I will, however, get SSS rank on almost all missions, and I'm not dying a single time. But yeah, as I'm watching this right now, I can tell I got a lot better. And this this really surprised me because I never really felt like you can you can get so much better at this game. Like, let's say Ninja Gaiden, you can really put some effort in this, improve your gameplay a lot. But yeah, I really, I really did get better, and I didn't expect that. Well, I expected to get better to a certain extent, but yeah, well. Anyways, just a few more information about this playthrough in general. Um, yeah, like I said, you're not gonna see any deaths. I died, don't, don't get me wrong here, I died. Um, not very often, maybe 10 times in this whole playthrough. This game is not very hard. If you're, if you're experienced with these kind of games, like the old DMC games, they were definitely harder. Especially the third one. Um, also Bayonetta. Ninja Gaiden, that kind of stuff. If you if you're familiar with these games, it's it's not too hard. It's it's more accessible. But yeah, well, I think they did a good job with the with the game. If you look at their old games, Ninja Theory, they really did improve. So I think it's okay. Anyways, what was I about to say? Uh, already forgot. Uh, oh man. Yes, yeah, you can obviously see this is mission one. Once again, Dante must die. This whole playthrough, I don't show it. I don't show show the Dante must die. Let's give these guys a warm welcome with the overdrive. Always nice. Oh, I didn't hear that. No. Well, now I heard it, but I remember when I played this, I, I couldn't hear that. So yeah. So the flying things are the harpies. Yeah, let's just get. Let's just get started with this whole strategy guide thing, whatever. Those blue guys are elite Stygians. Well, they're probably the, the strongest version of the, the regular enemy, the, the Stygians. You see, that was some sort of devil trigger there, that, that golden aura, that Dragon Ball style there, uh, turning Super Saiyan. It's, it's not too bad in this game, you know, they're getting hard to stagger. They're getting really hard to lift, although you can use the demon pole when you're in the air. There are some more Stygians down there, and the flying enemies are called Harpies. They have this very long range speed attack, which they like to use a lot. And a good way to take care of them, as you can see, you can use the environments and your shotgun. Obviously you don't have the shotgun on the first playthrough at this point. But yeah, playing this game for the first time, you shouldn't watch any guides, I think, because, yeah, well, that's, that's, maybe it's just me, but I like to play games without knowing anything about them, maybe watch some trailers, read some stuff about it, but not too much of that shit. Because I want to go as unprepared as possible into this, and, you know, get me a few surprises, like, oh wow, I didn't know you get this weapon, or you get that stuff. So yeah, 
If you have the shotgun, which you get automatically at some point in the game, you can shoot the harpies twice yeah. from, from a close distance and they will lose their wings and then you can knock them off the platform. It works really good in this in this mission. Also you got this this carousel thing. I don't know the, the English meaning. Uh, I'm from Germany if you can if you didn't know. But you can use that to to, to kill them, lift them up in the air, kill them. Uh, it kinda kinda destroys your score I think. Oh there I hit again. You sloppy. Uh yeah. Well like I said I, I'm getting better. And yeah, I can I can tell I I didn't use Aquila. Aquila, 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 I don't know. Aquila, Aquila. I keep calling it Aquila from now on, deal with it. Uh, I don't use Aquila a lot at the beginning. Later on it turns out to be really useful because you're gonna find some really hard setup of enemies and it feels really good to stun one of them with the round trip, I think is the name of the move, where you can stun them. Ouch. I should have dodged there. Not too bad, and I fucking love Rebellion and Osiris. Wow, these weapons are so cool. Uh, Osiris is a little bit too weak, but... Well, I still love it. Trinity Smash there, uh, going for the finisher. Nice. Yeah, I'm also gonna talk a little bit about, about the game, about the story. Maybe, maybe about the story. I don't know, I skipped all the cutscenes, so... Yeah. That was maybe a, maybe that was a bad decision to talk about the story, but generally the story is really good. I think it's it's enough to to keep you motivated, to keep you going on. And yeah, well, Ninja Theory are pretty good with stories, I think, and character development, so that's fine. They they did a good job there. I like all the characters, despite the. Uh, um, well, general, um, yeah, idea of rebooting this game, which I usually don't like, that kind of stuff, but this time it turned out pretty good. Uh, you can definitely tell that developers are not Japanese, because the combat is not as deep and all that stuff. You know, Japanese developers, I think they just get it done better. I don't know why. I don't want to sound racist here, but I think that's how it is. But overall they did a good job. Well, these are the rages, regular rages. Later on you will face elemental rages that you can obviously only attack with the demon or angel weapons, depending on their, their appearance. And you see this little needle attack, the Aquila Normal Aquila attacks will not be enough to stagger them and not not be able to get them out of that. Once one of them is dead, they go into their rage mode. That's probably where they got their name from. To do the spinning move, you can parry that and that will stun them for, for quite some time. But that's a little bit too hard. I think you will only see me doing it once, maybe, in this whole playthrough, and that was just out of luck. Not intended. Yeah, you can also use the shotgun to shoot those needles. Ouch. You got me there, sneaky bastard. Oh, you can see he can't be staggered in this, in this rage mode. I think he can't. It's absolutely impossible. Yeah, there was the needle needle move again. All you have to do is stagger the the rage. Don't care about the needles. You can use the shotgun it, if the auto aim works. The auto aim uh, sometimes is really, 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 really strange. Here comes the hunter. Just dodge his claw. Move in here. Trigger this cutscene so you can move on. And don't forget shoot or kill critters if you don't have your stuff upgraded yet and also don't forget the boss is coming for you yeah another cutscene here I'm oh my god I totally lost my trail here 
Come on, do something. Do something. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Shoot the critters with the shotgun. Works pretty, pretty good. It's a really fast way because they usually show up in groups. And if you don't have your Exit. HP or Devil Trigger Max out yet, you want to pick up as much as you can. Oh my god, I hate this room. I always... Oh my god, yes. I remember. I remember this. This was a fucking mistake of me. Completely wasting Devil Trigger here. I mean, look at the health regeneration. It's, it's really good. I was almost dead. I, I also got some... Green orbs from that guy. But that was completely unnecessary. Or maybe I should have used Aquila to get them all down to the ground and then start beating him up with some area of effect combos. I don't know. Well, my idea was to get some health. But, oh my god, I totally wasted the devil trigger here because there were only lesser Stygians, I think. Maybe Stygians. I don't know. What do we have to call these? It's not your everyday word, I guess. Oh my god. I hate this room. I always end up hitting the walls. Oh no, no, not hitting walls, but running into the walls. Taking damage. But that's it. Killing this guy in a super cool slow motion way. And it's so obvious what you have to do, <laughs> but you can't see me failing. Uh, I'm just glad this is over. Oh, Hunter's coming for you again, Dante. Oh, this is great. This made me laugh so hard. <laughs> First time. That was really awesome. It's like a punch in the face of all those haters. Ah, uh, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, overall I like what they did with the reboot. I was very skeptic at first, but I enjoyed the game overall. A little bit too easy. The bosses are a really big weak point. I don't know. Alright, so let's go for the hunter. Not too bad. Just, just use the angel lift. I think is what it's called, where you drag yourself to him, hit him with some aerial stuff, and dodge away. Do it over and over again until he staggers like that. And you want to go with some heavy shit, a Trinity Smash, you see me doing here. And then you want to keep on mashing with some heavy stuff. I used the Eryx there, which is a bad idea. Now I'm playing a little bit smarter, using the Overdrive level 2. Be good. Now he goes into his face where he throws his weapon at you. And I know you can parry that, I know. But I am just too fucking bad with parry timing in this game. I can use Osiris for most stuff, which is like a really cheap way of doing parries. But hey, it's in the game so I'm gonna use it. And speaking of stuff in the game, I'm not gonna use the demon dodge too often. I will use it not like I have it not active because enemies like the dream runners will take forever to die oh my god oh there I go for the oh oh yes look at that massive damage wow whatever that's the end of this video already wow really fast I got a lot more stuff to talk about but we're already at the end I'm gonna show you my um, ranking, yes, my ranking. And yeah, that's it. Mission 1 found on Dante Must Die and the Hunter boss. It's all there in one video. You're gonna see my SSS ranking, which is fucking awesome. Blah blah blah. And I hope to see you guys in Mission 2.
further terrorist attacks could take place anywhere, anytime.